The Moonlight Knight from Sailor Moon and Marvel's Moon Knight are weirdly similar. I'm definitely not the only person who's noticed this, but I feel like I've probably spent more time thinking about it than anybody else. It's like to an unhealthy degree at this point. Spoiler warning, I use clips from the first and second episodes of the Moon Knight TV series, and I also discuss the character's background from the comics related to how he became the Moon Knight. And I guess spoilers from the Sailor Moon R season from the 90s, if you care. To recap, the Moonlight Knight was a character created specifically for the original 90s Sailor Moon anime, specifically the second season, also called Sailor Moon R, which began airing in March of 1993. The Moonlight Knight was actually not from the original manga at all. He was created just for the anime. And you can learn more about some of the oddities surrounding that character in my other video that is specifically about the Moonlight Knight. The Moonlight Knight is one of the many forms of Mamoru, also known as Tuxedo Mask. He has vaguely defined powers and mostly fights by throwing white roses and, like, attacks monsters with a scimitar. The Moon Knight is a Marvel character that first appeared in the comics in 1972. Uh, a man named Mark Spector died in Egypt and was brought back from the dead by the Moon God, Khonshu, in order to turn into the Moon Knight and fight on the God's behalf. Uh, this gives the Moon Knight powers like enhanced speed and strength, as well as healing. The Moon Knight show opens with the character of Stephen Grant, who seems to be initially unaware that he has the alternate personality in his head of Mark Spector, who has the ability to turn into the Moon Knight. And the thing is, like I mentioned earlier, I realized that both the Moon Knight and the Moonlight Knight have a lot of surprising similarities, both in their appearance and their circumstances. So, here we go. Four similarities between Marvel's Moon Knight and the Moonlight Knight from Sailor Moon. Similarity one. Just look at them. They are both garbed in all white and bear the sigil of the crescent moon. They've both got this cape situation happening. And their outfits aren't identical because the Moon Knight does cover his entire face while the Moonlight Knight only conceals the lower half of his face. The Moonlight Knight also has this thing that I want to call a turban, but I don't know if that is a traditional turban or if that has some other name. And the Moon Knight's outfit has this wrapped component that is reminiscent of a mummy. But even still, their outfits are weirdly similar. Two, both characters have a clear Middle Eastern inspiration. Although the Moonlight Knight is kind of an Arabian pastiche, which is a little cliche, maybe kind of problematic, it's not really for me to say, but the Moon Knight was created by the Egyptian god Khonshu, so Egyptian iconography is also incorporated into the character and into the visuals of the series. Three. Both characters are the result of being brought back from the dead. As I mentioned earlier, Khonshu brought back Mark Spector to turn him into the Moon Knight, and in Sailor Moon, at the end of Season 1, that first arc, uh, Mamoru slash Tuxedo Mask slash Prince Endymion died, and Sailor Moon used the Silver Crystal to bring him back from the dead, but just without his memories, which is what created the Moonlight Knight persona. Which leads us into similarity four. Both characters exist within the subconscious of an unaware man. In Sailor Moon, Mamoru has lost his memories. He has no idea who Sailor Moon is. He has no recollection of being Tuxedo Mask. But his subconscious still remembered, and the strong feelings in his subconscious 
created the Moonlight Knight persona that would emerge without Mamoru even knowing about it to go off and fight monsters and protect Sailor Moon. Although the Moonlight Knight was technically a psychic projection from Mamoru, but a psychic projection that had physical tangibility, so the Moonlight Knight and Mamoru could exist in the same room at the same time, despite technically being the same guy. It's odd. That's why I made that entire other video about it. In the Moon Knight TV show, the first episode follows Stephen Grant, as he kind of wakes up or comes to in these various situations with no idea of how he got there. His logic is that he is a sleepwalker. Um, he is completely just unaware that Mark Spector is lurking in his subconscious and takes over the body while Steven is asleep in order to go do like Moon Knight things like looking for artifacts and fighting bad guys and going on adventures and whatnot. There are other smaller similarities, like their names. Obviously, that's uh, pretty much the free space on this bingo card. You could also sort of argue that they both serve moon deities, since obviously Kanshu is the god of the moon, and Princess Serenity is technically the moon goddess. The transformation into the Moon Knight suit also reminds me just a little bit of Sailor Moon's transformation, like with all the ribbons. Um, and the Moon Knight's crescent dart weapon also is just like a smidge reminiscent of Sailor Moon's tiara, uh, in that they are both these moon-shaped weapons that the hero throws to cut down the bad guys, and then the weapon like comes back and returns to their hand. Obviously, the Moon Knight and Moonlight Knight characters are still very different. They exist in very different genres, their characters serve very different functions, uh, they have very different character arcs, but the similarities are just still weird, right? I don't think the Japanese studio that made the Sailor Moon anime was like, hey, I just read these neat American comic books. Let's rip them off. No one's gonna know. But then again, the Mark Spector Moon Knight comic series did run from 1989 to March 1994. So it's unlikely, but it's not impossible. At the time I'm filming this, only a few episodes of the Moon Knight series have aired. And I think that as the plot progresses and the character arc develops, the Moon Knight and the Moonlight Knight are only going to diverge further from each other. Unless the season ends with Steven and Mark psychically merging together into one being in front of an alien tree. Which, this is Marvel, so who knows.